Last time on Total Drama Random Island, the teams were given three challenges that tested their trust with their teammates. Justin let be down in the rock climbing challenge, Dwayne got the bad end of a blowfish courtesy of Taylor, Millie joined Justin in an alliance, Jock got assaulted by Pete, and Taylor shocked everyone by revealing she hurt Sammy out of the enjoyment of doing so instead of being forced to do it. B was eliminated due to his crappy performance in the challenge, but not without a heartfelt goodbye from Elodie. Millie goes to Elodie and tells her that she's sorry she voted B out, and Elodie says that it would be highly illogical to make a scene about it. She needs to prove her worth in today's challenge or else she will be eliminated as she's next in the line. Millie says that's really noble of her, and Elodie says that she just wishes Justin could feel the same pain of losing someone close to him. Millie says the only one here he truly cares about is Ella. Elodie says that's perfect. Millie says that there's no way they can get enough votes to do that though, and Elodie says to leave it to her. Justin tells Ella that he really thought she was a brainless stereotype, but she actually is pretty interesting. Ella says that behind all the backhanded compliments and general disregard for others is actually a sympathetic person. Owen asks DJ if this was what the team meeting was for, and Justin says, Oh right, you both are here. Alright, give it to me straight. How do you feel about Millie? DJ asks why he's interested. She's alright. They haven't really spoken to each other a lot. Owen says that Millie and her go way back. They have been by each other's side through thick and thin. Justin says to exclude any food she gave him, just how he feels about her personally. Owen says that he doesn't really know much then. She's always writing in her notebook. Ella says that she thinks Millie is a really good friend. Justin says that he doesn't like the notebook she writes in constantly. I mean, what if she's writing bad stuff about us? Ella says there's no way she'd do that, she thinks, but Justin says that she caught a glimpse of one of the pages and on it it said, B. Silent due to mental deficiency or just shy? Imagine what she could say about us knowing our flaws for real. Owen says that that would be horrible and DJ says that they can't just jump to conclusions, he will talk to her. DJ asks Millie how she's doing and Millie says she's doing fine, does he need anything? DJ says not exactly, he's just curious about something. Millie says sure and pulls her notebook out and DJ says that's what he wants to talk about. She's always writing in her notebook when she's around people and Millie says that it's just a recounting of her experiences here, nothing else. DJ asks if she's put anything about them into this and Millie says she puts broad stuff, no names. DJ says he's happy he went to her, Justin was getting paranoid about it. Millie asks how, and DJ says that he was considering voting you off if you didn't show it to everyone. What a waste of time that would have been. Millie in confessional says that Justin actually does have a brain. Oh, this is bad. She needs to make sure Elodie is right and isn't just covering her own butt. Sammy asks Kitty if they can talk, and Kitty says that, honestly, she has nothing to say to the person who... Sammy interrupts her and says, yeah, yeah, I voted off your boyfriend. I've already apologized for it, so get over it. Kitty is shocked and says, okay, alright, what did you need? Sammy says that she needs Taylor gone. She can't stand her still being here, and if she wants to blame anyone for Duncan's loss, it would be Taylor. Kitty says that she's right. She's been taking her anger out on Sammy because she was the easier person to confront, but she didn't do anything actually wrong. She's sorry. Sammy is shocked and says that she accepts it, I guess. Sammy in confessional says that this new side of her is already paying off. She loves this. Jack asks Dwayne if he's ever thought of being in a different alliance, and Dwayne says that honestly, he's pretty good where he's at, and Jock says that those brittle bones won't last forever. He will need powerful friends. Dwayne asks him whose bones he's calling brittle, and Jock tells him to ease up, my friend, I jest, but you must understand that I come to you out of love, not hate. Dwayne says alright, but who can they possibly eliminate from this team? Jock says personally, if it was only his choice, he would get rid of Pete 100%, but for now, Taylor is the right choice. Jock says in confessional that Dwayne's an idiot, but at least he's easy to sway to his side. Taylor goes to Pete and asks him what his plan is, and Pete says that honestly he's just sticking to his alliance. Taylor asks what he will do in the final three, where it's you against Kitty and Dwayne, and you know that Kitty and Dwayne won't betray each other. Pete says that honestly he hasn't really thought that far, and Taylor says that instead he helps her stay in the game, and they can get rid of Kitty instead. Pete says he's not sure, Dwayne would be pretty mad at him, and Taylor says that Dwayne won't have to know. Chef's voice erupts from the intercom and he says to listen up you little cockroaches, I want all campers to report to the dunk of shame at 0900 hours. That means now, soldiers, now! They all run to get to the dunk of shame. Chef tells them to line up and stand at attention. You call this proper formation? He starts hitting Pete with his stick, feet together. He hits Taylor, arms down, eyes forward, head up. He just hits Jock for fun. 
Taylor says that this is going to be a fun day, and Chef comes over and asks for Taylor to repeat that, and Taylor says that she said nothing, and Chef says she will continue to say nothing until he tells her that she can say something. Today's challenge will not be an easy one. In fact, I do not expect anyone to come out alive. Owen laughs and gets hit by Chef. My order is to make sure the babies in front of me drop out of my boot camp except one. The last one standing was immunity for their team. Justin asks what happened to Chris, and Chef says rule number one, you will address me as Master Chief. You will sleep when I tell you to sleep, and you will eat only when I tell you to eat. Rule number two, when you are ready to give up, you will walk to the end of the dock of shame and ring that bell. Which brings me to rule number three. I like to get one quitter before the end of the day, and that day will not end until someone drops out. Now get your butts down to the beach, soldiers, now. Jock says in confessional that this boot camp will be nothing compared to the training he did to be able to be on an ice skating team with his partner, Jose. The first challenge will have all of you carrying a canoe over your heads. I catch you taking your hands off the canoe and you will be eliminated, and no one eats lunch until someone drops out. Canoes up. The canoes go up and Owen says that this isn't hard and Dwayne says he's had to carry heavier things loads of times, like his son. Not that he's fat or anything, he's just saying that Chef tells him to shut up. After three hours, Chris says that they missed lunch and Chef says that they must not be hungry. Justin tells Millie that he will do her a favor and read the notebook to tell her if it's worth anything and Millie says that it's okay, it's not finished yet so it hasn't gone full circle. Justin says that's what you think. Sometime at night, Taylor says that she's so done with this and she quits. Chef says that she has nothing to be ashamed of, except being a little baby that let your team down. As for the rest of you, head to the mess hall. Dinner is served. Owen cheers at the news. Chef tells them that they've got 10 minutes to eat before night training and everyone displays their annoyance. Sammy asks where the food is and Chef says that they're looking at it and Owen says that this is a leftover garbage from this morning's breakfast. Chef says that in war, you take what you can get. Justin says he is not eating this, and Jacques says he won't either. Pete says that back in his day, elders were respected more. During the night training, after a bit of time, Justin pauses the music and says that he likes interpretive dance as much as the next guy, but if one of them drops out, they're done for the day. Chef says that they're done when he says they're done. Now get back into formation. The next challenge begins in the mess hall, and Chef says for their next challenge, they will complete a 300-word essay on how much they love him. Anyone who falls asleep or fails to complete the challenge will be eliminated. When time is up, DJ, Justin, Pete, and Dwayne have fallen asleep. Chef tells Owen to wipe up his drool and tells everyone to report to the playing field at 0500 hours. At the next challenge, Chef tells them that they will run through this course until they can all complete it in one minute. They all go and Owen gets stuck in the tire swing. Millie starts sinking into the mud and Jock says that he salutes the fallen soldier. Chef tells him that he's earned himself 20 push-ups, and Jock says that he will do 50. After that part is over, the remaining contestants get to eat gruel, but Sammy and Kitty both begin raiding Chris's pantry. Everyone is eating the food that Sammy and Kitty have stolen, and Owen says he thinks he got jungle rot from the obstacle course, and Millie tells him to please keep that to himself. Sammy asks what's up with all his lame war stories, and Taylor says that her nails were not meant for combat training. Kitty agrees, saying that if she wanted to join the army, she would've. Justin tells Ella that he found a little something important, and Ella asks what it is, and Justin says he got Millie's notebook. She must have tried hiding it so it didn't get destroyed during the obstacle course, and he found it. Ella says that this might might be an invasion of privacy, but Justin reads out a page. Ella, trapped in a delusional state where she thinks she's a princess, and even worse, she's dating Justin, the most evil person on the island. Ella says that she's sure it's just a misunderstanding, and Justin says to listen to what she said about DJ, big baby who can't handle the reality of the game. Ella says that she knew the truth deep down, but didn't want to believe it. He doesn't have to read any more of it, he's proven his point. Chef tells them that their next step in their training begins tomorrow at 0700 hours, and if I catch the sucker that took my desserts, your butt is mine. The remaining campers are hanging from a tree and Jock falls first. Kitty says that she's surprised his brain is big enough to weigh him down, and Sammy begins laughing so much he falls down. Chef says she expected more from her, and Sammy says that Chef really needs to take a chill pill, upsetting him immensely. Owen begins farting and Elodie says that she's done, she isn't going to be face first in Owen's gastrointestinal wrath. Owen falls next and Sammy says it's all up to Kitty and Elodie says that Ella can do it. Kitty knows she can't compete against Ella for much longer, Ella says to make sure they do their best and Kitty says she sure will before pushing Ella and she falls. Elodie says it's not fair and Chef says nothing is fair in war, that's why it's called the Geneva Suggestion. He then congratulates Kitty, saying he would go to war with her anytime. 
Elodie says in confessional that she was told about Millie's notebook. No, she doesn't care about what Millie has to say about her. Besides, if she's aligned with Millie, then she will always be the primary target instead of her. Now it's just a question of whether to betray Millie or find some way to get rid of Ella. At elimination, Chris says that he only has five marshmallows on his plate, and these marshmallows represent the campers that will continue to be campers. You've all cast your ballots in the confession can. If I do not call your name, you must immediately go down to the knock of shame, catch the boat of losers, and go home. And you can't come back. Ever. Justin. DJ. Elodie. Owen. Campers. This is the final marshmallow of the night. Millie. Ella says that she's surprised. Chris says yes, yes, it's always a shock. And Justin says that this can't be. He knows for a fact that four people voted for Millie. Ella says that it's okay. Now he can focus on the game instead. Besides, she got all she wanted from this anyway. Ella leaves and Justin says that this is so rigged. Elodie in confessional is shown tampering with the box saying, You mess with my life, I mess with yours. You've earned it, Justin. And that's that for episode 11 of Total Drama Random Island. What did you think? Question of the week. One more elimination is left. This is your last chance to change your thoughts on who leaves next episode with the information provided. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time on Total Drama Random Island.